Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. That mixed bag has the Dow and S&P trading lower. Dow's off 261. S&P is off 17. NASDAQ, Russell, and semis are trading higher. The NASDAQ is up five points. The uh, Russell's up five points. The uh, semis are up 13 points. Trannies are off 205. New York Stock Exchange down 14 points. Gold up 26 bucks, 1841 is the print there. Silver's up 36 cents, 2191. Lights recruit up 39 pennies, 109.98. Natural gas is up a penny at 837. 30 year treasury up 20 ticks. She's printed out at 140.30. As we take a look at our nine panel market update chart, we begin by taking a look at the ES mini. Price got down within one tick of the low from May the 12th. Price is back above the bottom of its daily profile. The daily profile level that you're watching there is 38.99. Spot volatility still above its 50 day exponential moving average, always troublesome for the S&P 500. The case of the NQ got close, but no cigar, got down to 11.704, 11.689 is the actual low of that May 12 swing point. However, price is back inside its daily profile. The U.S. dollar index is pulling back. It's trading below the bottom of its daily profile. It's trading into the center of its weekly profile. A weekly close below 102, 102.86 is going to suggest we could see a pullback to that rising trend line, or at least the bottom of the weekly profile in the 101 area. Gold has held the bottom of its daily profile. Should target the 1861, 1870-ish level out there. That's a bearish structured daily profile profile silver on the other hand trading with inside a bullish structured daily profile so she should be able to make her run to 2276 lights recruit pulled back tested support support being old resistance the top of its daily profile that's at the 10444 level as long as that level holds we could see a move up to 116 natural gas likely targeted the nine dollar area that's its uh, roads momentum indicator top i believe and we have the 30-year treasury she's just consolidating with inside her daily profile. So that's the uh, one o'clock wrap. We've got a few seconds left, so let me just share with you, and we'll take a look at this during the uh, Trader Z show, so stick with us for that. But this is the uh, charts. These are the charts. These are the, evil, the levels that you need to watch today. They all are coming from the 120 minute time frame for the equity futures contracts. So I'll leave this screen up here. Those of you inside the den that are watching us, and everybody should be inside the den, you tell me why and where are the key resistance levels for each of these companies? Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back.